All right, well, we got a video and it's been a very long time. Um, Say, so what's up, buddy? Uh, yeah, can I get a shake? Can I get a shake, though? Good boy. Look at this chunky right here. The good girl. The good girl. Anyways, I've uploaded a YouTube video in a while. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of reasons why I have it. Um, you know, just YouTubers and TikTokers are cringy as fuck, so there's that. Um, so, and lots of things have happened since I've uploaded videos, um, which probably nobody cares about, but I'm making this for myself, so I care. I moved multiple times, lots of times, um, but now it is a big change, and I'm actually moving far, 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 far away. Um, pretty much, this is where I live right now. It is a mess, I know it's a mess. Um, you're gonna look like, oh my God, this car has a mess. But I'm currently moving, so everything is kind of just everywhere. And I'm selling all this. Everything's been sold. Um, everything's been sold besides whatever my roommate's gonna take, which is my sister. And uh, I'm taking him with me. And where am I going? I'm actually going to Boeing. Uh, I'll be moving with my brother in uh, Berkeley, Missouri. It's like St. Louis area. Um, I'm not even too sure about it. I haven't even studied it very much. Um, I got a job for Boeing, so I'm going down there to work. And me and my brother are gonna be making lots of content of working out all the time. He's been bugging me for the past like year about moving down there and he's calling me like every fucking day, multiple times a day, talking about how we need to hit the gym and do all this other stuff. You know, and I, I've been hitting the gym for a while. I'm 190 pounds, 196 pounds. Um, so I'm a little fat, I'm a little chunky under, under the sweater, you know, a little chunky. Um, so we're gonna be doing that, lots of content for that. And the gym there is pretty sick for the bone facility. So I'm excited. Um, he works for like some special military project in Boeing or something. Um, I'm actually going to the culinary side because it's the only job I could get. And I'm very fond of doing uh, catering and culinary work and working with food and prepping and et cetera. So I got the job pretty easily. And the guy I talked to, which is John, uh, which is my boss, um, super cool dude and super chill. He seemed to really like me. So um, he seemed like a cool dude. So I got the job pretty well. I'm excited to move down there. Um, it's gonna be a big change. And we're actually leaving, me and Ryder are leaving in two days from now, I think actually. So. And I'm gonna be editing this on my phone and recording on my phone because I'm actually selling my PC. Uh, I'm, selling, I, I'm selling like everything. I'm taking him and whatever I can fit in my car and I'm going down there. So I'm gonna be living there with pretty much nothing at all, which I'm okay with, you know, I'm a man. I don't really need a whole lot of things. Um, I'm gonna miss this Chunky though. She's a good dog. She's a little bit of autism, you know? I think so actually, I'm not joking. But she's such a good girl. She's my cuddle bug. He doesn't like cuddling with me. He likes to be a solo, solo man. She is obsessed with cuddling, so I like that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm selling my bed today. Uh, I'm selling everything like super cheap and I'm just giving shit away. So um, it's kind of silly, but you know, it is what it is. But uh, my car right now, which I'll show you guys later, uh, is packed to the brim right now. I still got some more stuff to put in there, which I'm gonna have to figure it out, but. We have like a three day drive down there. Uh, I might do it in like four or five, honestly. It's a, a 2000 mile, excuse me, road trip. And for me and him and on my car, that's gonna be kind of a hard thing to do. You know what I mean? So um, it's gonna be weird moving from all my friends and family and everything, everything that I built here in Spokane. Cause I moved from Moses from, you, know, you get the high school, whole high school vibe and, and all that and how that all perspective is to finishing high school and not talking to your friends, them getting married, having kids, blah, blah, blah. You know, the, the shit's real, you know, people don't really want to think about it. But when you're in high school, you don't really think about any of that stuff. Like I always thought about it, but I never like put it into perspective of like until it happened, you know, like, damn, it sucks. You know, and then the people around you now and I'm leaving all of them now too. You know what I mean? So I got to start all over again. So it's, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting, but I'm ready for a change. And Spokane ain't really doing it for me. Um, Work isn't here isn't really going anywhere for me either. So, you know, time for a change. Time for him to be stuck in an apartment, which is sad, but he's a good boy. He'll he'll be okay. And then she's going to be all alone. I'm going to miss you. You know I'm going to miss you, right? You know how much I'm going to miss you? I'm going to miss you a lot. A lot. Mm. You're a good girl. You're a pretty lady. What? All right, so I just finished my last workout here. Um, 
Me and Jameson hit some chest and triceps. Um, God, Jameson's such a fucking cool dude, dude. It's gonna, sounds weird, but I'm gonna miss you, Jameson. You're a cool dude, dude. Um, but uh, I am going to head to back to my house right now. My parents are just waiting for me. Um, yeah, but good workout, you know? Good little pumpy pump. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. It's, it's just weird, I'm, like moving from everybody after I just made last couple years close friends but jameson has helped me out the last i think the last two years he's like we've been messaging him almost every day and helped me out through my whole fitness journeys for those two years and more so super cool dude um i have met a lot of cool people up here which is nice but i'm gonna head home right now um pretty much everything's good to go i'm all packed up i got a couple more things to put in the car um and then uh i might have to organize some stuff some more but uh this is my car now it, it, it's fully packed so i gotta make room for rider back there so there's that but um yeah i'm gonna go see my parents um do a couple things fix some stuff up around the house before i leave and then uh i'll be on the road so i'll be picking this up tomorrow morning before we leave maybe i'll go out with some friends tonight and um record that but i'm honestly not even too sure probably gonna spend time with my family you know um but yeah so pick it up tomorrow morning or whenever the next clip is so we'll see you ready to hit the road is rider ready i can't hear you are you ready rider i can't hear you are you ready rider i can't hear you <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Are you ready? Let's get packed up and let's get going, babies. Mm. All right, let's go. Fuck. All right, uh, I just woke up. I look like fucking total dog poop. Um, I'm running. I'm running uh, like three hours behind schedule. So the rider is in the car, dude. It is packed to the brim. On like, oh, it is not funny, dude. It is like packed to the brim of like everything. He has barely enough room, but he'll, this is enough room for him to be fine. And when we go into the nights, we'll arrange some more stuff. But, you ready to go? You shake? Let's go, man. Come on, let's go on the road. So, first stop, gas station. Um, I haven't even ate yet, but I got some Zins. I got three packs of Zins. <laughs> you know, because a long road um i got my protein shake and then i got a uh, my cooler i gave some big boy some treats to non just got some some gas at some gas station it was good keep him busy for a little bit but i don't know what town we're in i've been driving for a couple hours and now i'm getting back on the road so let's get back to it Go potty. Good boy. 
What a good boy. So I'm making the rest stop area. Kind of just take Ryder for a little quick little potty. It's like the only area that's good for him is back here. But we're probably gonna have a nap here. So, well, what are you finding? Go eat your nummies. Eat your nummies. So this is our bed for tonight. This is where we'll be sleeping. It's not much, but it'll do. So we're currently, <laughs> we're currently crammed up in the back seat right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, this is not comfortable at all as I imagined uh, it to be, but uh, I'm gonna try to get some sleep, I guess. And uh, he's gonna have to, you've been sleeping the whole time. You gotta let me sleep. How about you drive, I sleep, tag team this thing, right? On team? No? Okay, well, I got the whole, Front seat kind of just packed up because I moved everything. But uh, I'm gonna try to rearrange this a little bit for me and him and then uh, hit the hay. So, uh, probably gonna just watch some YouTube on my phone for a little bit and then uh, I made myself a protein shake. Oh, yeah, right there. I have a protein shake before bed. Probably I'm gonna get a couple hours, three to four hours, and then hit the road again and then just try to take naps in between. So I got like 20 minutes of sleep. This guy keeps being annoying. There's like no room back here. And I finally fell asleep and guess what? My mom called me. Thanks mom, fuck. I was actually asleep. I finally fell asleep. Scared the shit out of me. She called me, her ringer was on. And now I can't get back to bed. So now I'm, gonna, and now I'm hungry. So I'm in a dilemma of packing all my shit back up I got all my shit back up, go and get some food and just keep driving through the night. But it's pouring rain right now. There's no room, but I know as soon as I start driving for a couple hours, I'm gonna get tired and be like, fuck, I wish I could go to bed and then do this all over again. But it's only like seven o'clock, so I could probably drive till about midnight and just do this again. So I might do that. So fucking foggy, I can't see shit. Uh, we've been driving about we've been driving for about twelve hours now. I'm fucking hella tired. It's like one in the morning, two in the morning. I don't even know what time it is. But we're gonna rest stop and we're gonna crash here for tonight. Good boy. Well, just woke up. I'm so tired. Sleeping was awful, especially with this guy moving around every two seconds and whining. This is like no leg room. Well, we did it. Oh, we did it. Kind of. Day in the life of a TikToker living in their car. First, I wake up and I look at my dog and then I pet my dog. Good dog. And then I make my bed. And then I count my toes to make sure I have all my toes. Yep. That was a joke. TikTokers that do that are too talk in general. Fucking stupid. People are so fucking bleh. Social media is just fucking bleh. Awful. Dude, I'm so I'm covered in so much dog hair right now. <laughs> it's a bad look at this. Oh fuck. <laughs> Alright, so we got 15 more hours to go. This is not fun, but uh, 
try to get like at least 10 of it done today, maybe like eight, I don't know, we'll see. But I really do not want to sleep in this car again, to be honest. I really, really don't want to sleep in the car again. But probably gonna have to. That, can you use that for me? Can you use that for me? All right, appreciate you. So last night, as soon as I fell asleep, last night, I like, uh, I tried to go to bed at like 7.30, I think, or something. As soon as I fell asleep, as soon as I like was in the dozy mood, I was like, like that, my mom called me, right? And woke me up, and I was like, fucking it, like, I'm the sleeper, so if that happens to me, I can't go back to bed. So I was like, fuck, I was up, so I started driving again last night, right? Not her fault, she doesn't know. I tell her that, I was like, he called me, and I was gonna give me any time, blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, I saw her, blah, 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 it's fine. Literally, I pull over, and it's about, about, uh, it's about, uh, a little over one o'clock right now. As soon as I pulled over, because I was like pretty tired and I was dozing off, so I pulled over to like a subway gas station and I started like rushing my head and I dozed off. And as soon as I fell asleep, like as soon as I fell asleep again, she called me again, woke me up. And now I'm back driving again because I can't go back to bed. I feel like fuck. <laughs> I got like four hours of sleep, maybe not in that. I need to get some sleep, but you know, pretty soon drive a couple more hours and then. Pulled over, just trying to fall asleep. As soon as I was falling asleep and dozing off, because she called me. My fucking sister. God, dude, everyone, she's, it's none of their fault. She would just exist. Oh, I don't know how it's such bad timing every time. Like, I just, I don't know, but. <sighs> Back on the road again, fuck. All right, so I think I found the best spot to camp out in the car for that I found at, like, I don't know, this big parking lot. I got the very far corner and uh, got some grass for Ryder to pee in. But I'm going to rearrange this car. I want to try to get as much room as possible in the back. Chill. <laughs> Just get freaking out. And uh, so I can have room to actually sleep for me and him. You stay. Give me five seconds. Here to go to potty so he's fine. We just stopped at a rest area like an hour ago so he's fine. He just wants to get out and be with me. Um, but yeah, I gotta move all this stuff around. I'm trying to figure out how much room I can make possible. I wish I could leave stuff outside here, but I don't trust people. And so I don't think anybody would steal it, but like still. And, uh, yeah. I was gonna park here, but all those beer cans right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Would make it look like I was drinking it and it wasn't me. So I parked right here. <laughs> One over. What? So we camped out, huh, buddy? He's got a little section right here. This actually looks a lot better than you stay. Yeah, I'm tied up right there, but uh, I'm gonna sleep here and he's gonna sleep somewhat there and over here. I think, I think it'll do. The front seat's completely full. I don't have room for this, so I'm gonna leave this out, out and hopefully nobody steals any of this. And if they do, it, I mean, it is what it is. They get dog food, some water, and shit I don't even fucking need, so. This gas station is huge. It has like two two stories. <laughs> but I got rather some uh, squeaky toys. 15 bucks for this. I was gonna get some food, but I have food in the cooler and some snacks. And I've already spent so much money and I'm poor. So even though I just spent 15 bucks on a fucking dog toy. But I figured he's been a good boy and he probably wants to. I'm gonna regret this. I, 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 as soon as I bought it, I was like, fuck, the whole night. Hold on, all you're gonna hear is squeak, 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 squeak. So, uh, fuck it, he'll he'll enjoy it. So, I got him, got him it. Some donut and some coffee. So, let's see if he likes it. <laughs> and you're gonna like him. You gonna squeak him? Where's the squeakies? It's right. Where's it at? <gasps> What's <your> here? <laughs> there you go. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's already put a hole in it. Uh, crazy. Get what? Good boy. Good boy. What about a donut? You want a donut? My my throat. My throat. You gonna catch it? Good boy. Good boy. What about coffee? I'm gonna throw the coffee. Good boy. 
Alright. Alright, so I actually did not sleep at all. Um, yeah, I didn't sleep at all or anything. Anyways, what happened was, so I was laying there about to go to bed, and some fucking super loud car pulls up, right? And it's like, like there's a homeless guy in his car, and it's straight piped, and it's fucking loud, and I was like, what the fuck, he pulled like right next to me out of anybody with his dog, and he's all yelling at his dog. Anyways, I got out of the car because he kept looking at me. I was like, I, I don't know what this motherfucker wants, but I'm gonna get out of the car and, you know, see see, see what's up. So I got out, I was like, how's it going, man? And he's like, oh, how's it going? And he's like talking and didn't know what he was saying. Fast forward, um, he's a homeless guy um, with a dog, you know, and he was a nice guy, you know. Um, used to be a meth head, used to be this and that, but um, he's just a homeless guy now, driving around, you know. Anyways, talked to him for about two hours, actually, to be honest. I didn't record any of it uh, because I'm not going to show it. Show a camera in his face um, and be like, here, I gave this guy money. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, I'm not, like, not going to fucking shove a camera in some guy's face and start recording him about his life story. But interesting guy. Tell me his whole life story. I didn't fucking ask, but, you know, people want people. Somebody needs, like, certain people need somebody just to talk to, you know, tell he hasn't talked to anybody for a while, so... Uh, talked to him for about literally two hours. Um, I was hoping to get some sleep, but that wasn't gonna happen. So talked to him for about two hours, and you know, told me his whole life story. We chit chatted, bullshit, talked about some stuff. You know, um, nice guy, cool guy. You know, um, that was it. But I didn't, I didn't really want to sleep next to him, um, especially with his dog and Ryder freaking out. Um, but. Uh, yeah, cool guy, uh, cool experience, and it was kind of just random, but, uh, I really just wanted to make sure this guy wasn't a fucking weirdo trying to rob me, because he, like, kept looking at me and shit, and, like, looking around and shit, but he was looking for his dog, I didn't know that, I was like, alright, dude, like, this motherfucker, like, like, uh, you know, I was like, where's my knife, you know, I have my fucking knife on me, so I just got the fuck out of the car, and I was like, like, I'm bigger than him, you know what I mean, like, he was like, five, six, five, seven, fucking, probably like 120 pounds, so I was like, if I need to take this motherfucker, I'd just drop this motherfucker, like, a, like easy, you know, so, like, there's no problem, but, that super chill fucking dude, uh, I wish I got a record of our conversation, uh, you know, but, uh, yeah, it was an experience, you know. <laughs> Is that how you feel? Right, we can talk about things, man. You good? <laughs> what the fuck is your problem, bro? Hey, you're a good boy, you know that, right? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> you sleepies. You ready to hit the road? You ready to go Popeyes? And we'll go potty and then we'll go Popeyes. How about we get some food and some tweets and we go outside and go potty for a walk and then we go Popeyes? Yeah? We go potty? What's that go potty? Yeah, go outside? Alright, let's go. Let's go. He's a good boy. Oh, you good boy. I know sippies. Mm. <laughs> ah, you. you! You stop. You stop it. You stop doing it to my dog. Talking you little man, talking you little man, stop it. Crazy little man, crazy little man. Hi. Stop humping my dog, please. Listen to me, I see my groceries, so I'm gonna help her out. Okay. Good boy. Not you though, you bad boy. How's it feel like you're having a rat? He's a good dog. I see that. Yeah, no, he's a good dog. So, just got here, got some stuff put in here. Um, Ryder already got a fight with Milo, <laughs> and Ryder fucked him up, so 
Um, but this door, so broken. Whoever fucking put it in as a dipshit. But, uh, fucking all fucked up. But, just, yeah, just tape it for now and then just open it, I guess. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god, look at you. You ready for some food? You wanna go fight Milo? You wanna go fight Milo? Let's go fight Milo! Let's go fight Milo, come on! So this is my bathroom. Oh, we get a share? And this is my room that I will have. You excited? Right there? But I guess Murray's his girlfriend's making some food, so I'm hungry. I haven't eaten today and it's like four o'clock. Um five o'clock maybe, I don't know. I got a shower, I'm gonna be showered in two days. Um But yeah, I'm gonna get my room all set up and I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like and uh Yeah. But it's hot here. It's like it's like 60 degrees in Spokane. It's like 90 uh, here in Missouri. So it's fucking just weird. I don't, I don't know. So uh, I wanted to start gaming, and uh, <laughs> my uh, $400 monitor is broken. So uh, that's uh, stupid piece of shit. 400 bucks, it's broken. I, sh I could literally just could have sold it instead. And I protected this thing on the whole drive here and it broke. Fucking stupid. All right, well that's one side of him. Now my chair just came off this side and I'm sure I can get more. But now I gotta turn him over. Let's see if we can get any more hair off of him. <laughs> you ain't hair man, you know that? Hair man. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Look at that. You want to get treats? For being a good boy? Let's go. Let's get some treats. Come on. This is my room right now. It's a, it's a mess. But uh, yeah, I'm not playing any video games because my monitor is broken. And so I'm probably buy a new one, which won't be for a long time. Uh, it's off duty. You clean, handsome boy. Can you speak? Good boy. I gotta get sick. I can't get laid down. Now can I get it up? Now can I get the up up? Oh thank you. Now can I get can you spin? Good boy. You wait for tweets now. <laughs>